Hi everyone, thank you for coming today and uh, good afternoon. So my name is Ben Volko, I'm the founder and CEO of Autonomo. And I'm here today to tell you a bit more about Autonomo and what do we see in the market in the seven minutes that I have. Autonomo sits in a very interesting uh, intersection between mobility and uh, data, maybe one of the most fascinating places to, to be today. And we see that all the cars are becoming connected, just like phones. If you look, for example, into quarter reports of AT&T, Verizon, Deutsche Telekom, you will see that these days there are more cars as new subscribers than people, actually. And all those connected cars, I don't know if you know, are sending a lot of data all the time. Every minute or so, a lot of parameters are coming out from the cars into databases that the car manufacturers, the OEMs, have built. And also on special occasions. What is a special occasion? Ignition on, ignition off, accident, error code. Every time the one of those happens, a lot of data goes out. And this data, according to many, many analysts, is worth hundreds of billions of dollars. And I think I could have shown you about 30 different slides like this, each one with bigger number. I think that the nicest one, or the, one of the quotes that I like, is from the CFO of Baidu. And she said that she believes that by 2025, 50% of the revenues of the automotive industry will not come from bending metal anymore, but will come from data. And I don't know if it's 50 or 40, I mean 2025 or 2027, but this is the direction of the auto industry. Data is taking a center stage. Autonomo is the first mobility marketplace platform. We have nothing in the car. We are software solution in the cloud. What we do, we are partners, partnering with automotive and mobility players. We are connecting through an API very carefully to the databases. So we connect to the databases of the GMs, the Fords, the Renault Nissans of the world, at the same time of different mobility players. We take the data out through an API we put it on our platform, we do a bit of magic to the data, and then we supply it to many, many entities that want this data either in order to launch new services or to enrich their existing services. And I will show with you some examples. So insurance is always ones that come to mind. Um, there are new models like UBI, usage-based insurance. You are driving and you pay according to the mileage you've done or your driving style. And of course, you need car data to this. Or predictive maintenance. When you get stuck, the insurance company is sending a tow truck to the rescue. Very, very expensive. If the insurance company could get some data, identify the problem in advance, and send you an SMS or notification, your battery is about to die or you're running out of oil, then they are saving the hundred and something dollars of the tow truck. You are saving two hours sitting on the side of the road. Smart cities want car data. They want speeds from vehicles, for example, to tune the traffic lights. They want suspension to find problems in the road. They want accident notification to find dangerous places. Financial services are very interested in car data. We, quote, we work with a French bank, which is a huge provider of vehicle loans in Europe. He wants data, for example, to understand that is a, a financial exposure. If he gave a loan to a vehicle, he wants to know if people do the warranty on time. He wants to know if people, there uh, the mileage on those vehicles. If he gave a loan for a fleet of 500 vehicles that have a problem in the fuel pump, he wants to know because it's a financial risk. We have a credit card company that came to us with an interesting problem. They said that there are too many people they refuse to give the credit card to, by mistake. They want to use car data in order to reduce this amount. If you are a very good driver, you never ignore flashing lights, uh, lights on the dashboard, you don't drive in high speeds, you do the warranty on time, maybe you get this uh, credit card. Tier 1s are interested to get data. Tier 1s around the world are spending about $25 billion a year on recalls. If you can get some auto data, and identify the problems in advance, it's much cheaper to do a recall to 2,000 cars than to 200,000 vehicles. So um, 
we see retailers that are interested in, uh, in, in, in data, media companies, advertisement, parking, dealerships, workshop. It's really a whole spectrum of services out there that wants to use auto data to launch new services and to improve our life. So Autonomo is a young company. We are uh, two and a half years old, uh, very well funded. We raised close to $50 million in those two and a half years. We have four million cars on our platform, live and open for business, got sending data to us all the time, which we are today sharing with about ecosystem of about 75, 80 different uh, entities that are interested in this data from really all the segments that I talked about before and connected uh, to about 10 OEMs in uh, some of it is out public. Thank you for your time today. I hope it was interesting. Thank you.